All right, I'm going to go over how to create your home page. When you first install the theme, uh, your home page will be your latest posts. So let's go ahead and make it a page instead. So what we're going to first do is add our new page. And let's go ahead and call this one home. And then under page attributes, we're going to want to use the home page template. So let's go ahead and publish that. And then the next thing we need to do is tell WordPress to use that page as the home page. And we do that under settings and reading. And under front page displays, select a static page and the page we just created, home. All right, then we click save. And if we go to our home page, uh, I actually have some widgets in there. Let me clear that out real quick. All right, now when you go to your home page, this is what it is going to look like. Um, there'll be no content and really short. Of course, at the very top, you'll have your slider, and we'll cover that in the next video. But what I do want to cover is how to add some content. So the first thing you can do is just edit that home page, and you can add in some content. This would be the, the easiest and most basic way to add content. Um, so you can kind of see it populating. But what we use in the live preview are widgets. So if we go into appearance and widgets, you'll see where all of this uh, action happens. And there's two widget areas that will populate on the home page. This first one is home page widgets, and then the next one is home widgets on all pages. They both use these widgets right here with the home in front of them. That's key. Other than that, it's pretty easy. You can just drag any of these home widgets in either of these areas. So um, in the live preview, for instance, we have the schedule in the first area. And all these give you a bunch of options to adjust background colors, and etc. You can just play around with that. I'm going to open this in a new tab so you can see, tab back and forth. So you see I dropped in the schedule widget, and that's going to pull in all of your schedule posts. Of course, you can adjust the subheadline titles. You can even add a button with a link um, and the colors or even add a background image. So um, then the next area, for instance, in the live preview, we have tickets. And that's done with a highlight widget right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And let's refresh it. And you can see the tickets will populate down here. I don't have tickets installed yet, um, so it's going to display like that. But um, that is another optional widget. Of course, you can reuse this widget, these widgets as many times as you want. Now, the widgets on all pages means that you want one of these widgets to display on every page. So, for instance, if I go to gallery, there's no widgets. But let's say in a live preview, we have sponsors, and we put sponsors under all pages. So now when I refresh gallery, you have the sponsors at the bottom, and when I go to the home page, um, you'll see sponsors at the very bottom. So it's just kind of another option if you want like a highlighted area or sponsors listed on every page, you can do that. Um, so it's pretty easy, just play around with them. Now to, to create um, the various versions in the live preview, for instance, I used uh, the timeline widget on one of them. That's the second one. And all you have to do is find the timeline widget and throw that on. So now when I visit the home page, you'll see the timeline gets pulled in. So um, again, it's super easy to, uh, to adjust that. You can even do, uh, I think I have the map widget on that page as well. And you can just drop these in, refresh your page, and just play around with them and see how they work. You can drag and drop to adjust the order. Um, so yeah, and then there's example content in pretty much all of these so that um, you can see how they work. But again, um, you know, just play around with the widgets and uh, you can just see how much control you have over your homepage.